AJ, welcome to the St. Con Hallway. Good to be here. Good to be here. Thank how you. many um, how many St. Cons have you been to? This is my second St. Con. Second. Yeah. So last year you came and you were like, yeah, I guess I could do that again. Oh, yeah. I was absolutely hooked. This is probably one of the best experiences as far as cons go. You know, it's very wholesome, fun community. Everybody's very welcoming. I was basically a stranger. I think I knew one pe person last year and everybody like really made me feel at home. Is very kind and you know being a volunteer i think kind of gives you a little bit of a um some pull i guess because they're like oh you're here not even as an attendee just you know just trying to help out so yeah a second ago i just said uh where's aj and three people uh, were like over there like <laughs> like knew who you were and they knew where you were at yeah got yeah. tabs on you yeah that's awesome uh you have a hacker handle i do aj702 is my hacker handle and um i guess <laughs> you could explain uh, Earned, given, I already know the answer to this based on what you just said, but sure, you want yeah. to explain it? Yeah, sure. It's, so it's just my initials and my zip code. I am out of Las Vegas. I'm actually the co-founder of the DEF CON 702 group. Um, me and my partner, I said no cookies, is running around here. But yeah, we co-founded it actually over COVID. So it's kind of an interesting story. Um, we didn't have an active DEF CON group in Vegas. Which and, seems weird. Well, there, it, so it's such a long story, but so there was uh, one. I got time. Hang on. Let me yeah, relax. No problem. Okay. Long story time. Let's go. So AJ. there was one <laughs> and then it kind of fell apart. And then there was another one, which also went for a little while and then fell apart. Um, and so during my time at DEF CON, there wasn't really an active group. I've been going this, this, this upcoming year will be my 14th year. Wow. Um, so I was like, I kind of want to bring DEF CON. Every time I leave DEF CON, it's like so sad. Like I mean, there's nothing local that I can just go and hang out with these people and like feel this community and this like, you know, it's like camaraderie. Like we're the, we're the same. We're all the, the same type of people. Um, so I emailed the org and after about a month, they emailed me back and they were like, okay, well this guy also wants to start a group. So can you two work together? I'd never met him before. And I was like, yeah, sure, whatever, let's do it. And then it's, this will be our, we're going on our third year in May. So um, how many people are attending? Uh, well, we have a weekly meeting um, every Wednesday. Um, most of them are at this like local bar called Distill, but then two of one of them is actually at RTA, uh, the Red Team Alliance building. And then the other one is at the Shop, which is our local um, hackerspace. So we have anywhere from 15 to 30 people, depending, I think. Um, and then sometimes we have bigger events where we do like laser tag or something like that. Awesome. So yeah, it's it's a pretty good group. And you're here volunteering at Saint Con, mm -hmm. and you do other things for the information security community. Um, I am a staff member for B Sides Las Vegas. Um, I'm also a goon, a photo goon at DefCon. Um, and then this past year, I created a contest, which was kind of fun. It was a really new experience. Um, it was like an experiment, and and like I have no idea what I'm doing, but we're gonna figure it out. <laughs> what, what was this contest at DEF CON? It was called uh, Question Mark Cube or Zero X 3F Cube. Um, and it was essentially a like a 30 by 30 cube puzzle box. Um, the, the front compartment had like a cell, or not a cell phone, a pay phone in it. And it was like unlock compartment that just would like, the idea was to visually appeal to people. And like, what is this? Come and see this thing, like stem cur or, uh, stimulate curiosity. And so the information was very vague. When any of it, anytime anybody would ask me, I'd be like, I don't know, go see, what is it? Go open the door, look at like, poke a button, pick the phone up, does it ring, what's going on? You know, so, um, but it was essentially like, um, you know, like a big puzzle box with different challenges and each, each compartment would lead into the next compartment. And um, the point was to basically get the phone number and call the pay phone. Um, and when one team did, I'm doing that and won the contest, and it was a lot of fun. It was a good experience. Was there any part of that challenge that nobody saw? Uh, no, we set it up in a way where it would, they would be successful because it was kind of like a prototype. So, you know, as as people were getting along, we were giving them hints and stuff, and the farther they would get, they would get stuck. Um, but yeah, no, pretty much everything was solved. Awesome. Next year it'll be a little bit more difficult. So I was I'm about hoping. to ask you, do you yeah. need it again next year? Yeah, I'm thinking about it. I'm, I'm I'm hoping, but I need to get more organized. I need to start like now. Um, I think I did it in like three months. So it was, yeah, but, building. But, for, but these for are my easy. It's easy to run things. You can just do it the weekend before. Uh, there was a lot of that. I'm like, you know, but you get to a point, right, where you're like, okay, well, it's going to go how it goes. And right. the show must go on. And so we're just going to like doing it live type of stuff, right? Like, right. let's just go. Let's do it. So you do a lot of things for the community is what I'm just hearing. I, hey, I, I outside, so. you know, all the way here to Utah. 
right? So you're helping run stuff here. Mm -hmm. You're obviously in Vegas, a whole bunch of things, and then DEF CON proper and your own DC groups. Mm -hmm. And uh, how did you how did you get started in information security? What did you did you just I what's the story? How oh, did you okay. end up in information security? So I started dating this guy like 13 years ago, and he was telling me he's like, "Well, there's this conference I go to every year, and you should check it out." Um, that was actually DEF CON 20 was my first DEF CON, and I was just uh, I had just started a job in QA, so I was just getting into tech and. I was just blown away. I had no idea like this this world existed, right? I, I knew I was always the computer person. <laughs> like if my family had problems with computers. I was the one who was figuring it out. I was fixing the printers in every office I've ever worked in. So it kind of just was like natural for me. But then I was so new and it was so they're so vast. There's so much information. There's no way to run at a at a stimulant, right? Like like there's every if you if you feel like you had know this thing, okay, cool, go try this thing, and then you'll be like, oh, I actually know nothing. That's cool. <laughs> so um, so it's been like over the the past you know 12 years, 13 years, it's been like, oh, I think I know something. Let me go do this, and then I do like a CTF qualifier, and I'm like, oh no, I'm right. very hum it humbles me. Right? Humbles me, um, but yeah, I think that's that's what's intriguing about it is there is just so much information. You can just go anywhere. You can go down so many rabbit holes, and and then and they tie into each other too, right? So you're like, oh, I learned this soft skill set. Now let me try to apply this over here. Right. So, yeah. Um, so I guess yeah, I think I was naturally. I think I was meant for it. And I felt like at home. I felt like a place where I'm like, oh, I'm. All these people are like me. Found your people. Yeah, found my people. So yeah, that's how I started. I guess. Awesome. So, is there something that you want to try? Like, what's the next thing that you want to try here or at a, a conference? Oh, at Saint Con, I definitely want to want to build a badge, a build mini a badge. badge. Yeah, I haven't. I w wanted to do one last year, but then I got hung up in the, in the contest making <laughs> and that. Yeah, and the payphone and doing all that. So, I definitely want to make a serious effort to make one or two mini badges. Um, Is this going to be an AJ badge? I think so. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I might. Maybe I make a Pope badge. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, no, I definitely, there's definitely domains that I haven't explored that make sense. I really want to try, like, some car hacking stuff eventually. Yeah. Um, healthcare is also intriguing. But, but yeah, I, I get so many ideas, and I have to, like, I have to control myself and center myself. Because right. I will be all over the place, and then I'll, like, get nothing accomplished. So... So besides this payphone and all the other volunteer, what's, uh, what's like a project you're working on that you're excited about in your time? Oh, so I'm kind of into, and this is going to sound really like, of course you are, everybody is. Um, I'm into AI and like machine learning. And I picked it up probably five or six years ago. I took some free classes. I made like um, a picture identifier and like a lie. Uh, a live French to English translator, just like there were Coursera classes or whatever. So I am actually building a uh, AI type thing, like just a it's a little a little thing that I have that I'm playing around with. So you so. you doing the math on that for the language models or? I am right now. Honestly, I'm figuring out the infrastructure that I need ha to have. So I need I want something to be. I don't want it in the cloud. I want it local. So I need mm -hmm. like a lot of power in a small space. It's like a lot of RAM, right? Yeah. It's yeah. Like 70, so, if you want to run the, you're smarter than me on this. No, you are. Something you're like 70 something uh, gigs of RAM for running most of the high ones right now. S something right? ridiculous. And I'm sure yeah. tomorrow will be different. But. Right. And the, and, the, and the more efficient things become, the less that'll be right, hopefully, or maybe not. Maybe it just gets bigger. Um, it's such a changing landscape right now, and, and it's, it's going fast. So... Um, but yeah, that's just something that I just kind of tinker on and yeah, it's just like a little... I love the idea. I always start looking into it. I run the default things. I have it identifying the cats and dogs or whatever the exactly test. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. then uh, then it's all math and I'm like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Yeah, the statistics and you <laughs> see the little probability of the thing there and you're like, oh, that's the computer. Yeah. This, this is how you make it better. And I'm like, well, I guess I'm not meant for this. Yeah. Yeah. No, we just got to figure a way to make the computer do the hard work. Because I'm bad at statistics too. Like, I'm terrible at math. <laughs> well, if you can figure out that hurdle, let me know because that's where I was dead end. Right, so. right, for sure. Um, well, well, yeah. If somebody wanted to uh, approach you and chat with you, what's something? I mean, uh, clearly, right now we've covered a few, yeah. right? We got yeah. AI, we've got uh, the CTF contests and volunteering. Yeah. Uh, what's something else that they could like bring up and say, like, you know, maybe you have in common they, that they might also have in common and can come start chatting with you about. Oh, man. I don't know. Um, 
Pretty much anything, because if, if people have questions and I don't have the answer, like I will definitely point them to somebody who does, right? Like, oh, hey, what do you know about this? Mm, nothing, but I know this guy who knows a whole bunch about it, so let's go find him and you can ask your question. So like I'm pretty open and I'm like a like an information finder. So, so yeah. Proper uh, old old term Rolodex. There is Rolodex. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm I'm shy, but also when when people start talking to me, you know, I, I just yeah. That was it, that was kind of the enumeration there. Uh, <laughs> the things that you uh, might have in common that they might also be shy and they can bring up and uh, yeah, feel you like uh, maybe you're approachable to chat with. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so just come up and just start talking. Just start talking. And just I'll say, uh, hey, uh, Rolodex, I have a question. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Awesome. AJ, I appreciate you coming out and volunteering here at SanCon, helping us run the con. Yeah. Uh, you're I, wonderful to chat with. I appreciate all you do. And, you know, local, I help run a, a DC group. It's, a, it's work, making sure that people are there and booked. And it, there's real work involved. appreciate all you do for the community. Oh, thank you. And uh, hope you have a great time here in Utah. And, I, Thank you for joining us in the same. I appreciate hallway. you too. You do so. You do so much. I don't. Th I don't know if you get enough credit for what you do. I see you everywhere. You're all over in everything. We're gonna edit that part out. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, AJ.